What's up YouTube, it's Optimal, and today I'm bringing you an updated version of my Utopia deck, as per requested by one of our subscribers, at Fuzzy. So, before I get into the deck profile, I just want to let you guys know this is a very combo-heavy deck. Um, it does have a bunch of searchability, so it, you can easily search out any cards you need or any missing combo pieces you need in the deck. And it's mainly comprised of a bunch of extenders and rank 4 heavy based. It does lack a lot... It does lack a bunch of recovery plays, but that is fixed due to one new card that was recently added in the archetype. So let's get right into it. First off, for your Zexal Weapon package, you're going to be running the one Zexal Weapon Tornado Bringer, one Zexal Weapon Lightning Blade, and both of these um, Zexal Weapon cards uh, protect your Utopia monster from being destroyed by battle or card effect and also boost your Utopia Xyz monster's attack by their attack points. Lastly, for the last um, Zexal Weapon monster you're going to run to complete your Zexal Weapon package is Zexal Weapon Twin Saber. This um, card doesn't protect your Utopia from being destroyed by battle or card effect, but on the plus side, it does provide negation on board. And just like the uh, the two prior Zexal Weapons, it does boost your Utopia monster's um, attack points. So next up, this is the core of the deck. And these, in my opinion, are the correct ratios you need to be running. You're going to be running three um, Zubaba Babancho Gagaga -ga -ga Coat. So this card lets you bring out any um, of your Dodo -do or Gogo -go monsters from your graveyard back onto your field so you can further go into your rank four plays or uh, extend even further. And to pair off with your Go 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 coach, you're going to be running two Go 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 gloves. So your glove, when it's used for, once you use it up and it's in the graveyard, if you control an Onomatopoeia, you can special summon this guy back from your graveyard and get another usage out of it. So that helps you even go further into your rank four plays. And the key playmaker of the deck is your Utop Utopic Onomatopoeia, three of this. So when this card is summoned, it allows you to take your, your coat and your glove from your hand and bring them out onto the field. And that helps you have enough material so you can summon out your Utopic Future and then summon out your 99 Dragner further down the line. So next up, for your Zexal Servant package, uh, again, this is the correct ratio I believe you should be running. You're going to be running three Zexal Servant Ascended Sage. This is a good opening extender. You really don't want to be drawing this um, later on in the game, but you mainly want to be searching it out or have it in your opening hand. When used for an Xyz summon, it'll allow you to search out your hyper rank up magic uh, Utopia Force. And then to pair off well with it, we're going to be running the one Armored Sage. When Armored Sage is used for an Xyz summon, you get to search out um, your Zexal Weapon Tornado Bringer or Lightning Hand. And you get to add it to your hand, I believe. Let me check. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you get to add it to your hand. And Lightning Blade and Tornado Bringer, when they're added to your hand, they can attach themselves to a Utopia as an equipped spell card or trap to boot, to give Utopia further protection and boost its attack. You never want to search out your Twin Saber through Armored Sage. You mainly want to be doing that off of the back of number of Ultimate, Ultimate Leo Ray. Yeah, ultimate ultimate Leo Utopia Ray, because um unlike unlike a Tornado Bringer and Lightning Blade Twin Saber cannot equip itself from from your hand to the your Utopia Xyz monster. So that's why for Armored Sage you're gonna be searching your Tornado Bringer or your Lightning Blade. Next up to complete our monsters, the monster portion of the deck we're gonna be running three copies of Astral Utopia. Astro Utopia allows you to ditch a card and add any of your missing combo pieces from your deck to your hand, specifically your spells and trap cards like um, your Xyz spells and traps, your Onomata cards, your Zexal cards, and it helps um, continue on into your rank 4 place. Lastly, to round off our monster, we're running one Astro Karibo, which can manipulate its own level, and just as well, when it's used for an Xyz summon, it adds further protection to your Utopia monsters. Or any Xyz monsters that was you, that you used um, to Xyz summon. So that rounds out our monsters. Now moving on to our spell cards. For spell cards, you're going to be running 
the Onomato package. So you're gonna be running three copies of Onomato Para. Onomato Para lets you discard one card, then you get to add any of these falling monsters. So if you have um Onomato, if you have Utopic Onomato P on your hand, you're gonna discard one card to add your glove and your coat from your deck to your hand. And then to help you get easier access to this card, you're gonna be running the last two cards to finish off your Onomato package is uh, Onomato Pickup. Onomato Pickup allows you to search out your Onomato Pyra. And uh, it has a secondary effect uh, you don't really use, but you could always utilize it. And next up, we're gonna be running one Zexal and Trust. Zexal and Trust is the monster reborn of the deck. And also it adds a recover recoverability. So you can always banish this card later down, and then you can special you can add one Zexal spell and trap card from your deck to your graveyard. So it has um, some recursion, which is nice. Next up, you're gonna be running the one Zexal field. Zexal field allows you to protect um all your Xyz plays, and it allows gives you access to your your skill drain on legs. This deck has literally Destiny Hero Plasma in the deck, which is awesome. Which would be number sixty five uh, Gin Buster. And then one cool thing about this card is the next card I'm about to show you, which is my spicy ch tech choice, Shining Draw. Yes, I am still running this card, because why not? Um, you, if you end up drawing this and it's a dead card in your hand, it's just further discard father. So there's no problem with running this card in this de in the deck. So Zexel, uh, Zexel Field allows you to add this card. Well, not add it. It lets you take this card and place it on the top of your deck. So then you meet the conditions for this card. So when you draw it during your normal draw phase, you get to take Lightning Blade and Tornado Bringer and equip them um, from your deck immediately to any Utopia Xyz monster you control. That way that Utopia monster has further protection and a little bit of extra attack points. And also has a nice secondary effect where you can take a Utopia monster from your extra deck and then transfer overlay unit. So has some recovery play as well. Next up, you're going to be running the one Hyper Rank Up Magic uh, Utopia Force. So you can summon out the boss monster of the deck, number 99, Utopia Dragner. So Utopia Dragner easily lets you cheat out any of your Xyz monsters from your deck, from your extra deck. Next up, you're going to be running the one Double or Nothing. This card is mainly Discard Father and to help you thin out your deck even further. And this deck does a lot of deck thinning, so you should have pretty... Pretty, uh, pretty easy time getting to the cards that you need. So that's why I'm mainly running one of each card, um, like Zexal Field and this, like this other card, um, Xyz Change Tactics. Xyz Change Tactics is the draw power of the deck. It's your draw engine. Um, so every time you Xyz summon a Utopia monster, you get to draw one card at the cost of 500 life points. But trust me, guys, this deck is very consistent. Next up, you're gonna be running. Um, Two Zexal Construction. Zexal Construction allows you to reveal a card, put it back, and then you get to add any Zexal weapon, Zexal Servant, Zexal Spell and Trap card, or your Hyper Rank Up Magic, or Rank Up Magic cards in general, from your deck to your hand. So more added consistency in the deck. But if you do want more draw power in the deck, you can always cut one Zexal Construction, because it is searchable, and then you could switch it out for Memories of Hope. Memories of Hope for every number monster you control with a different name it allows you to draw one extra card from your deck. So you could always cut one of this card down for uh, Memories of Hope. Next up, you're going to be running three triple tactics talents. And this adds even further draw power into the deck. So if your opponent um, activates a card effect, you can draw two or you can take control of one of your opponent's monster, hopefully one of their key starters. That way you can use it for your next turn as a... If it was a rank four, if it was a level four, then it'll help you out for summoning your rank four monsters. And also for ripping um, any hand traps out of your opponent's hand. Next up, we're continuing on with the hand trap cards. We're gonna be running one Dark Ruler No More to get rid of your opponent's pesky hand traps. And lastly, to round out our spells, we're running one Rota or Reinforcement of the Army to add any level four warrior monster from your deck. You mainly wanna be adding, um, let's see, either Astro Utopia or Armored Sage from your deck to your hand off of Rota. Now we're gonna be moving on to the last portion of the deck that comprises it, which will be our traps. So for trap cards, you're gonna be running one Numbers Protection. 
Again, all these cards are easily searchable. So just one is okay. And when this card is utilized, um, you can later take it from your graveyard, place it in your spell and trap card zone, and you can get a second usage out of it. So that's why you only run the one, because it's basically two cards. And then you could always cut this card down and you can add another infinite impermanence. So you can bump your infinite impermanence up to three. But I personally like to run the one to two ratio. So you're going to be running two infinite impermanences. And that rounds out the main deck. So now let's head into the extra deck. So for the extra deck, you're going to be running the Utopic package. So you're going to be running the one uh, numbers uh, future number zero. Utopic Future, so you can rank up into your Utopic Draco Future, so have further negation on board. Next up, you're going to be running the Utopic Sage, so you can further extend into your plays, and it has an added uh, ability where you can banish it to protect your um, Utopia Xyz monsters from being destroyed. So that's that's pretty nice. So, like I said, this deck does have some protection in it. Next up, you're running the one Utopia double to get your double or nothing from your deck to help deck thin and help get more materials for your, your Utopic Draco future. Next up, this is the key card that helps the deck so much. This adds a bunch of recovery into the deck, Utopia Rising. So Utopia Rising, um, when it when you can detach an Xyz material, bring out a Utopia monster and then transfer the materials on this card to that Utopia monster. So in case you need a save yourself later down the road in case you get board wiped but this is for a more survivability and to have more of a defensive nature for the deck but if you want to play a more aggressive and aggro style you could always cut this card out and switch it out for number 100 numeron dragon numeron dragon would be your board breaker your game ender because this this guy's attack will go crazy high especially if you have number 99 and ultimate leo on the field um, this card can get easily easily up to 10k, and then you just re smash into your opponent's monster, and then go for game. So it just depends on your play style. You can either go a defensive style or aggro style. So it'll just be up to you. I'll leave those cards out to the side, so you guys can debate in the chat, in the, not in the chat, but in the comment section below. Are you more of a defensive player or aggro player? So now, the heart and soul of the deck, your ace monster, number 39, Utopia. No need to explain this card. It um, it can defend itself, and also, it's just the core of the deck. You usually use this guy to rank up into anything else. And just look at that astral language, Utopia. Gorgeous. All right. Now, this is my personal preference. You, I like to run Chaos number 39, Utopia Ray, but you can cut it out and replace it with utopia prime either of these cards work i just personally like to run the utopia ray because of aesthetic aesthetic reasons and you'll see why because you'll be using it to rank up into ultimate leo ray so as you can see that's the reason i run this card over shining because aesthetic aesthetic wise this guy um he's mainly the main beat stick of the deck and also he can negate as a quick effect can negate your opponent's monster's effect and reduce their attack by half so, you basically want to be ramming into that monster that you negate its effects and also more negation on board. Next up, you're going to be running the one number S39 Utopia the Lightning as another beat stick in the deck to get over monsters that you that you need a that that are causing you a bunch of trouble. So if your opponent has like a three thousand uh, not three thousand a three thousand attack point monster, you use some of this guy out and then you can just ram over it, or you could use Ultimate Leo. It's just up to personal preferences, but that's to get over any annoying monsters that you need. And then the main boss monster of the deck, number 99, Utopia Dragner, can um, lower any monster's attack to zero and redirect attack. So uh, Dragner, uh, amazing card, and also lets you cheat out most of your Xyz monsters out of the deck. This card lets you bring out the ultimate Leo or uh, number 100 Numeron Dragon or Hope Harbinger. So main boss monster of the deck. Lastly, these are the non-Utopia package cards you're going to be running. So these are just other Xyz monsters that are that I personally like to run. You're going to be running one Prime Mathmech Albreon. You're mainly using this card for its uh, third ability, I mean second effect, where you detach three Xyz materials, add one level four monster from your deck to your hand. 
and you're mainly going to be wanting to add that armored sage again this is a recurring theme you guys you mainly want to be adding the armored sage from your hand you never want to draw it in your opening hand because that's literally a brick so next up the skill drain on legs this is your destiny hero plasma of the deck so through dragoner's ability you're going to summon king overfiend on your opponent's turn then through the effect of zexal field it allows you to place Gin buster from your extra deck underneath it and there you go you have your skill drain on legs it its ability is uh, effect monsters your opponent controls cannot activate their effects so this helps shut down your opponent when you're um on their turn and lastly for added for more added protection you're gonna run the one copy of number 38 hope harbinger dragon titanic galaxy you mainly can special summon this guy in defense and it's just added negation and it negates um i believe the first spell card your opponent activates yeah a spell card or effect that is activated gets negated it also redirects attacks and it gains the attack of monsters that are destroyed so that basically rounds out the utopia deck so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if you guys want um not if you guys want i will be coming out with a more in-depth version of this deck where i go through combos that you go through um that way you guys can get a more in-depth perspective of this deck but i hope you guys enjoyed the video comment like subscribe and i'll catch you guys later